So this episode has the Monokian and the main character going to the farm after something went wrong with the fox spirit. They get there and the fox spirit is massive and trapped. They can't figure out what's wrong. They didn't find potatoes that he'd eaten that smell repugnant. There's something wrong with them. But he can't figure out what it is. But if no, they're from a local farm. So they go to the other farm, get there, and it's just covered in smelly mud. There's a fog all over the ground. Just everything seems strange. What's going on here? And they go into it and find this scarecrow lake's yokai. And he didn't seem to realize it, but as he speaks, he's producing this mud. And something has trapped him there. And he talks about having lost his friend. His friend had been killed in a fire. Turns out his friend was another scarecrow. And it was so interesting. Like, normally you think things being silly, but in the world of yokai, where some things actually can become real, inanimate objects can have a yokai spirit, who knows? But he speaks, for, they talk about it, and they come to realize that he's keeping himself there. It's his guilt, his pain. His feeling of remorse and his feeling of abandoning his friend that's keeping him there. That they can't do anything to help him. He has to do it himself. And he has to come to terms with what had happened. And I almost half expected this, the um, Scarecrow's yokai to show up. It didn't, but what sort of maybe did. At the very end, as he's heading into the underworld, he turns around and sees it sort of smiling to him. And this is a really interesting episode. In this world, that's sort of how they are. There are no ro- evil yokai they've run into. I mean, the closest might be how some of the yokai in the other world might want to eat humans, but we haven't seen anything like that in the actual world, so I'm not sure. You know, would there be something evil? I thought the closest thing to something evil was a porcupine spirit in the last episode, but that was just frightened. So I'm curious what we'll find. Well, in the fox spirit, but that was just more lonely than angry or anything. So what do you guys think of this series? Do you like it? Because this is one of my favorites so far.